Hi everyone, it's Intang Mayumi. I'm back with a light up birthday card. This card is specially made for my husband. He loves the movie that is based on this stamp set. To make the card, I use Kindred Stamp Back in Time stamp set. If you watch my videos, I always color and fussy cut my images before I start my card to save some time in the video. I use my zig markers to color my images. It's my go-to medium for coloring small images like this and I always use Bristol smooth paper. Bristol paper and zig markers works together very well. After I colored and fussy cut my images, I use my memento block marker to color the edges so it will look seamless. As you can see, I also already cut out the part of the car where I want my lights. For the background, I'm going to paint some colors on the paper. The paper I'm using is Stratmore 140 pound watercolor paper and I'm using my Windsor & Newton gouache today. You can also achieve this look by blending colors using Distress Inks or Distress Oxide Inks. I'm going to add the colors on the paper until I achieve the result that I want. I'm back and forth adding the colors on the paper and drying it with my heat tool. From this set of gouache that I have, I use primary red, primary blue, and ivory black. The red and blue mix purple when they are mixed together so it looks like I also added purple on the background. My camera didn't catch the part of painting the lower part of the card but there's nothing special to that because I just color it with my Daniel Smith uh, Sodalite Genuine. What I'm doing here is I'm adding lightning bolts in the background using my white gel pen. The one I have is Jelly Roll 08 size. So I'm not holding the pen tightly like what we normally do when we write something on the paper. I'm holding it loosely and I just let the pen go anywhere to get the crooked lines. And then I use my water brush to mute the white ink so it will blend on the background. After the background is done, I did die cut my painted panel and black cardstock the same size. I'm going to trace the cutout from the car to the painted panel and I'm just using black pen here so I can see it. And then I'm going to cut that part using my craft knife. After I cut that part on the painted panel, I trace it to the black panel and the black panel is where we are going to create our circuit. And I'm also going to mark where I want my push button. It's going to be on the right upper corner of the card. I'm going to make a battery holder so you can change the battery when it runs out. I got this idea from... Ju Yun Lee, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she's on Instagram and I thought it's a brilliant idea that you can change the battery. I'm going to leave her Instagram link in my description box below so you can check her Instagram account. So I cut the paper to 6 and 3 fourth by 1 inches. I'm going to score at 1 and 1 fourth, 2 and 1 half, 
three and three fourth and five and one fourth. And then I'm going to do mountain volley fold. And I'm going to crease the sides with my bone folder. After that's done, I'm going to die cut the holes on those sections. I have this smaller, smallest die here. I think this is one inch circle die from my stash. I did eyeball where I placed the die to cut the next one. I put the die on the paper and using the previous cutout on the paper, I made sure I centered it on the circle die. I will adhere the paper together with glue so it will be just one and the thickness will be perfect for the battery that I'm going to use. Now I'm going to cut one by two inches paper and then I will fold it in half. This one will be part of our circuit. The battery that I'm going to use is Energizer 2016 3-volt coin battery. And you can get this one um, at your local grocery store. And it doesn't have to be Energizer. There are a lot of 2016 3-volt battery brands. But this one is the one my store carries. So I just got that one. I'm going to adhere the folded paper on the black panel. I use the battery holder as my guide and to know exactly where my battery holder will slide in and out. After I adhere the, the folded paper, I can now remove the battery and set that aside for now. And then I can start building my circuit. So I had to think where my copper foil type will go because of the lines. The part of the car that I want the lights is not straight and they are wavy so my copper foil type will also be wavy and not straight on the panel. It would be so easy if the lines are straight and you don't have to think through it. Now that I have idea where my lines are, I can now adhere my copper foil tape. This copper foil tape is 1 4 inches wide. I cut it in half to get more out of my copper foil tape. I got this from Amazon. I also got my Chibitronics LED lights on Amazon. I have links of the products I use in my description box below. I don't know if the stamp set is still available, but if I find it, I will also add uh, to the links in my description box below. After I adhere the cover foil tape, I will use my bone folder to press down the tape to make sure it is adhered well. I'm going to write the positive and negative on the sides so I don't, I don't get confused, but this is so easy. If the light doesn't work, then that means you put it on the wrong side. If it still doesn't work, then your LED light is probably broken or something's wrong with your circuit. But the LED light has positive and negative written on them so you know where to place them.
I was going to just add two lights on its side but the other side needed two lights so I added one more. I used three LED blue lights in total. And now I'm going to add the car on our painted panel and I'm just using glue here and then I'll, we'll go ahead and adhere it on the painted panel. And then I'm making sure that the cutout on the car and on the panel are the same. And we can now adhere our vellum on the back of the panel. I use double layer of vellum. And I'm just adhering them using glossy accents. I will also double up my foam tape and add it on the circuit panel. I made sure that my battery holder will fit on the folded paper while adding my foam tape. So now, as you can see, it, it fits perfectly. So we can now go ahead and remove the backing from the foam tape and we'll add our painted panel. Coloring a watercolor scraps, water paper scraps for our press hair button, and I'm using the same inks that I used earlier. I'm going to die cut this using the same circle die that we use for our battery holder. Run that through my sidekick machine, and I will stamp press hair sentiment and the uh, and the stamp I'm using is my favorite things interactive label uh, stamp set. I'm going to emboss this with wow white embossing powder and then melt that powder using my heat tool. I painted another one of this and I'm just drying it with my heat tool right now and I'm going to use this for my sentiment. The sentiment that I use is Happy Birthday from Tim Holt Things slash Talk Stamp Set. As you can see, the sentiment is cut apart, but you can put them together easily. You, you just butt them together and place it on, the, on a clear block and you can use them again as straight sentiment. I'm also going to emboss this with Wow Opaque Bright White Embossing Powder and then again melt the powder with my heat tool. I'm going to trim the excess paper using my Fiskars trimmer. And then I'm going to use my Memento Black Marker to color the white edges so it looks seamless. And we can adhere our panel on our A2 size black card base. I use strong double-sided tape here. We'll remove the release paper halfway, add a little bit of liquid glue, and we can add this on our black card base. And then we can also adhere our character beside the car. And also our press here button on the upper right corner where the battery is. I also add foam tape to pop up our happy birthday sentiment.
For the inside of the card, I use the other character that I colored and fussy cut and add two of the small images. I also stamp another sentiment from the stamp set with Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And my light up card is finished. I hope that tutorial is clear and easy to understand. I had fun making this card for my husband and I like how it turned out and I hope you like it too. As always, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.